Trini Girl Natural. Hi YouTube. Do you have any really strange stuff in your stash? Anything you bought like either before buying, during or after, you were like, what is this? So, of course being a PJ, <laughs> I have a few of those, so I decided to just come on and show you. And I really, really want to hear from you as to, you know, some example of something like this that you have as well. So, the most bizarre products in my natural hair stash coming to you right now. So some of these are strange. Some of these are just strange to me, you know, because I haven't really used them. But I think it's a cool kind of fun list and, you know, I'll let you know how the ones I use have worked out and hopefully the ones that I haven't used yet I will use during this year. So you can bug me about the ones I haven't used and find out how they work. <laughs> I guess I'll start with this one. I have a mud hair wash from the Dead Sea. <laughs> so I was like, hmm, you know, because you know like skin stuff from the Dead Sea is like, was the, all the rage a little while ago. So I was like, Dead Sea mud is this? I mean, it's not Ben and I clay, is it? You know? So I was curious about it, so I had to get it. Um, and the number one ingredient is Dead Sea mineral mud. So, you know. But it also has cocoa betaine and decaglucoside. So, and it has soy protein. So, it's a cleanser. I'm trying to see if it has any kind of minty stuff. It does have rosemary. Because this thing is strong on your hair. Like, I can take a burn. I, um, well, we all can take a burn. We've been getting relaxes. But, yeah, this stuff is intense. It has this intense kind of minty feel on the scalp. So, if, you, if you're scared of that kind of stuff, then you might want to shy away from it. But it actually was pretty good. So, Jim Monique on the whole, this line, unfortunately, it doesn't really agree with my hair. So, this is kind of like that. Like, pretty much everything she sells, even like a deep conditioner, just mats my hair. I know that sounds scary, but nobody else had an experience of my friends. So, maybe it'll be fine for you. And this one is like the least matting <laughs> of her stuff. This one I would actually use again. But I don't haven't used it that often. I mean, this like three quarter. I mean, I have used it a few times, but I haven't used it that often. So, I'm probably going to use it again soon. And kind of give you guys a review. I'll try to find a picture of when I did it. It really does kind of reduce frizz and stuff like that. And it's a really good cleanser. And it um, really stimulates the scalp. So I would recommend it if you're curious. And you know, there's sea mineral mud. <laughs> you know, if you want your, if your hair is too short, sure you want your hair to um, enjoy the finer things. You know, and it's pretty reasonably priced too. So yeah. I'm going to come back with this Camille Rose leave-in collection. Because, I mean, first of all, putting honey in your hair, like, just honey in your hair. Like, I was trying to do the math when I was, like, looking at this. I was like, everybody was raping about it, but it just seemed, I was just trying to think about how it would work. So, in terms of products that kind of blew your mind, this one definitely has to go on there. You know, honey is the first ingredient, and then it has, like, oils and extracts, but there's a lot of honey in here. From the time you open it, you can tell. Um, but it really does work. It's really hydrating. Not very defining, so, you know, if you struggle with definition, this may not be something you want to use while, you know. I mean, if you're doing a twist out, fine, but I guess for a wash and go, if you struggle with definition, you may not want to use this. But it's very hydrating. I love honey, like, mixing to stuff. This makes you want to try <laughs> putting honey and oil in my hair and leaving it in. Like, I would have never... I've seen people do it, even on the forums. I've seen people like, hey, I have honey in my hair as a gel. I was like, ah, oh, you're crazy when the bees get you, you know. But this kind of made it legit and made me say, okay, maybe I should try it. So, I might even do a DIY one after and see, you know. I mean, I have two of these, so I'm going to be in this for like probably two years. But when they're finally done, if she doesn't make, get, get me to buy more, I might DIY this. And, you know, it could be my new boo thing, honey and oil, you know, and sugar and stuff. Like, how do the bees not get us? I'm going to try this in the spring or summer and let you guys know if I, I was chased by any bees. So, but yeah, this one definitely counts in terms of like bizarre products, so. And the oil I'm going to put in there too because she has it as a leave-in. So, I mean, I know people do use water and then oil, a lot of people do that. Again, I don't know how frizz fighting that would be. But I do want to try it. This doesn't have that much slip on its own, so I'm not sure if I will be able to, but I do kind of, I am curious to just put it on first, if anything, at least, and maybe put a leave-in over it. But I am curious to see how this would feel like on your hair first, so 
This is on there because it's supposed to be a leave-in, but it looks like an oil and kind of feels like an oil. Um, and it does have like different like lavender and different like pH balancing things first. Um, the oil is kind of nearer to the end and it has curry too. That's also another interesting thing about this. So, you know, so it is technically a leave-in, but it doesn't look like a leave-in or feel like a leave-in. So, another kind of mind-blowing, <laughs> bizarre product. But, you know I love this. You know I love it. it. smells great. Should I smell it again just for you guys? Just so you can see me move. Just because I can't resist smelling it anyway. Mm. It smells amazing. <laughs> and it really works too to like reduce frizz and see like over already done hair. I use it like for multi-day hair and it works great for that or taking down twists. The next thing on my list which is kind of similar to the Camille Rose honey leave-in is this. Sultanicals can't believe it's not honey hair caramel. Again, it's like, okay, should I just put honey in my hair and see how it works? The first one ingredient in this is agave nectar. It goes agave nectar and then olive oil and then beet and then molasses. Yeah, I was looking for like the caramel or honey. I don't actually don't even see caramel or honey really high up in this, but you know, I guess sugar is pretty much caramel. So agave nectar and syrup. So basically sweet is in I guess for this year. So definitely going to be trying this soon and I'll let you guys know. There were mixed reviews um, online but my hair loves humectant so I really can't believe it's not going to be good to me. But we'll see. The next one that I'm going to mention, this Green Beauty um, Real Protein Treatment. So I haven't used this one yet. Again mixed reviews on it but this is like pretty much just a protein and you can buy this and like mix it into your regular deep conditioners to make a protein treatment. So for a while I was kind of struggling to find like the perfect protein treatment. So I figured this would be a great alternative so you can just take your favorite DC and automatically kind of make your favorite protein treatment. So can't wait to try it. I'll let you guys know. Mixed reviews online. Kind of scared but still I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm brave. I'm brave. I have this Eden, looks a little grungy, I have this Eden Coconut Shea Styling Elixir, so I really probably had no business buying this, don't even ask me why I bought it, there was a sale and I lost my mind, this was when I was bad, I'm good now, <laughs> this was when I was the worst PJ and I was like, oh Eden Body Works is on sale, this is when I used to buy Eden Body Works anyway, so I really haven't bought them in a while, I do like their leave-in but I'm, I'm not... I'm trying not to use any coating stuff like polyquats anymore and pretty much all their stuff has it so long story short I still have some eating in my stash but I'm kind of not really buying the line anymore but it works great anyways so yeah this one was kind of bizarre because it was like how are we gonna use it you know prevents frizz with a daily application of this moisturizing serum you know okay but it's not a leave-in just kind of like a daily frizz preventer or something like that. So, so since I have it, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> it does have lots of polyquats in there, so you know I'm not gonna be pure no polyquats until I get mustache down. So, and I did think it might be cool for like flyaways and stuff like that. So, because especially with keeping my middle part way too often, I probably have a lot of flyaways in the my crown area so so I'm gonna try this and let you guys know but it was interesting because this is like the only elixir I think Eden has that I know of. Then I have this Jen Carter Restore Grow Great Hair basically with the claims on it it was like basically it had everything on your mama in terms of like hair growth stuff you know it has like arnica, nettle, peppermint, ginkgo, cinnamon, clary I just really wanted to I was just curious about it it says restore your hair and balance your scalp for optimum hair growth. I was just like curious. It says for faster hair growth and hair loss repair. So, you know, this is like, I think I got this when I just big chopped and I was like, yeah, my hair show up. This going to get me some hair. I think I know better now, but this is kind of when I was more impatient. But, you know, Jane Carter like had like 75% off. And I was like, let me get me some random Jane Carter stuff to try. This is when I was bad. I'm good now. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I don't know. I'm going to try it. Probably like maybe like with my people or something like that and let you guys know. Eventually. Again from Jane Carter. Another kind of off the beaten path um, product. 
I have this um, hair nourishing serum. Yeah. So what really attracted me to this was the ingredients because it has like, um, I mean it has lemon and grapefruit and jojoba and so on, but it has like yang yang essential oil. So I was really curious about that because you know, it's one of the kind of fancy stuff and it's supposed to be pretty good. So I decided to get this. It does smell great. I do kind of put a couple drops in like my pre poo and stuff when I remember. It smells great and it has some interesting oils and it was like 75% off on Black Friday. So it doesn't, it smells like citronella if you guys, if the Chinese know what I'm talking about. It smells kind of like citronella. So it's nice. It's interesting. The next thing that was kind of strange is this Curl Memory Leave In Conditioner from Shea Moisture. So this was back when. I was bad. Everything here was back when I was bad, okay, except for the Camille was leaving and that's recent. And um, the Soul Panicles. Yeah. yeah, just that. <laughs> yeah, just that. So, this was back when I was like buying stuff just because a YouTuber liked it and stuff like that. But then I was like, cool, memory leaving is gonna remember your curls? What? And then it has some fancy biolipid complex and I was like, oh, okay. You know, so I still haven't even tried this. but. Just the fact that I said cool memory leaving just kind of got me interested, you know. And then plus it was like some new formula and natural science. It, they played me, you know. So, we'll see if their proprietary Coco Shea Biolipid Complex does any, remembers anything, you know. I was so stupid. <laughs> I think I was just had because I don't think it remembers anything. I think it's just a regular old leave-in, but... I don't have that many leave-ins in jars anyway. I only have this one and the JVC oil, so it'll be nice to actually try that. Like I bought the JVC oil leave-in just because I never use any leave-in in a jar and I want to see what all the hype is about. So, yeah. Yeah, so this doesn't remember anything. Anywho, <laughs> so after that, next on the weird list, next on the newbie list, is this um, Beautiful Curls Curl Activating Shampoo. So again, this is when I kind of used to read the labels. Now I read the ingredients, so they really can't get me anymore. But I was like, Curl Activating Shampoo. Like, you know, how is the shampoo activating curl? So I decided to try it. And no, it doesn't activate your curls. It doesn't. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's just a shampoo, but it's a good shampoo. I actually like the shampoo. So, um, it starts off with comfrey and annika and shea butter, and then it kind of ends up with like that curl polyglucoside and cocoa betine. Um, it has magnesium sulfate, which is interesting. It has coconut oil for those who don't like that, and it has that lang lang again. So, it has some moisturizing stuff as well as like the cleanser. So, this is a good shampoo. It's not too stripping, and it does feel cleansing. Don't know if I'll buy it again since I don't have anything else I like from this line yet so I do have two other things from the line but I don't know if I like them so maybe if I like a few more things I don't really like to buy stuff from a line if I only like one thing so maybe if I like a few more things I might get it again but yeah it doesn't beat my previous cocoa shampoo so probably won't be getting it again but I do like using it and I'm pretty sure I put a good dent in it this year so yeah so those were the main strange things but I also have a few other random things from Jane Carter, 75% off. <laughs> um, this natural whole spray gel. So I was like, spray gel, gel, spray, you know? But I think it's just one of those like holding sprays basically. So I can't even tell you. I did do it for Watch and Go once when I was, I was, you don't think I'm weird now. I was so weird back when I, like a year ago. I wanted to try a no touch wash and go where I just like you spray stuff and shake. Don't ask me why I wanted to try it, but I used this then. So I just um, put like a little water and leave in an oil in the spray bottle and just spritz my hair and shook. And then I spritzed this and shook over it. It did come out okay, but back then, I mean, my hair was a lot shorter, so it was like it didn't need as much attention anyway. So will I be trying it again? Probably not. Mm -mm, but. But, you know, I still use this when I have, like, a product that didn't hold in my hair. It's just kind of trying to go mad. I spray this on. And I don't know if it works or not. It might work. It may not. I don't know. But 
you know, as I pushing a button on the elevator, I spray this on and maybe I get a little bit more hold and like duration from my like bad hair sessions. So no I'm not people saying it either because it was random. But yes, I am using it. And it doesn't hurt. Let's put it that way. And then there's this natural hole locking spray, which pretty much has the same ingredients as the one before, so I ain't even gonna talk about it. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm gonna use it just how I use that one when it's done. So and then 75% and then there's this condition and sculpt so it's kind of like a watery gel it does say it's perfect for wet looks or wash and wear hair which is wash and go hair so I, I do want to pick up my fast self and try it I really don't think it's gonna have any slip but you know I'll try it I'll try it as a wash and go and let you guys know what happens in the summer when I don't care <laughs> how my hair looks. So, yeah. And then I also have this kinky curly spiral spritz, which I am also going to have to try to figure out how to use. So, this one isn't even as watery as this one to make sense. Like, at least this side is a real spray and mist. This one, I think, is a jet. I haven't used it yet, but from what I've heard. So, people, like, spritz it onto their hands and they put it on their hair and, uh, you know. It's left to be seen how I would use this. So I guess I'll probably do that. Spritz it onto my hand and spritz it onto my hair. I don't want just like lanes of snot looking stuff if I just like put it on my hair straight. So yeah. This is supposed to be for styling fine wavy hair and to refresh second day dry curls. I think I better just use it the way that people said to use it because I'm not even seeing any real hard hole in um, ingredients in here. There's like aloe vera gel in here, but that's about it. So, yeah. I might bust this open for like, you know, doing a ponytail or something like that. So, that's pretty much it. But I do have a little bonus round for you. Things that are bizarre to me, because I haven't really used them before. But everybody else probably uses them. So, the first thing, as I mentioned, this leave-in conditioner in a jar thing. Never used a leave-in conditioner in a jar before. But I got this JBCO um, Strength and Grow Restore La 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 Leave In Conditioner. So I want to try this. I'm looking forward to trying it in the spring. Everything is like in the spring because in the winter I already kind of pretty much have my stash open. Let me know if you want to see a video on my current stash because I'm thinking, like, I mean, what I'm currently using in rotation because I use more than one thing, but I have maybe like five leave ins open, you know, three butters open, like six co-washes open so if you guys want to know what those are just let me know in the comments and i will just do a video on them but i'm booked for winter <laughs> already mustache so everything else kind of comes in in the spring especially if it has glycerin in it so yeah i'm gonna let you guys know if there's any hype to this or the other jar even i got from shea moisture the other one you guys are gonna laugh at me <laughs> is this passion fruit kill control paste Again, everybody was hyping this, and I think some YouTuber said it's good for like flyaways. I don't really, I don't use edge control, so somebody said it was good for just like um, a finisher and stuff for your canopy. So I picked up my fast self and bought it, and it has lain here ever since. I have not opened it at all, and this was a while ago. I'm not going to tell you how long because you're going to judge me and you're going to ask me when it's going to expire and be all in my business. So let's just say I had it, it's still. It's not green or lumpy, and I'll try it one day, one sweet day. So, yeah. And then the same thing for this um, frizz free mousse. Now, this one I actually might try as a wash and go because I have had people tell me they've had success with it. So, I might try this as a wash and go in the summer. Um, but it is a mousse, and never used a mousse before, so it is up here in my, you know. Scary, but I'm gonna do it pile. Uh, same thing with this Blue Rose um, Smoothing Serum. Never really used the serum before. What will I use it for? I could tell you I'm gonna do a rough set, but I'll probably be lying to you. But I'm gonna tell you anyway. I'm gonna use it for a rough set, because what else people use these things for? You can put it in the comments below and let me know. Because, I mean, I got this in the beauty box, so I didn't buy it um, by itself. But I right now currently don't have much idea what I'm going to do with it. So, probably either multi-day refresh or, you know, something. Because I don't know when I'm going to 
try to do any kind of style with this hair besides slap some leave it in that call it a day. So and last but not least, this um Sultanicals ACV anti frizz curl vitalizer shampoo bar. So I got this um I wouldn't say for free because I was working my bottle up this summer taking pictures in Target. <laughs> but I got this one in a promotion. I don't use shampoo bars in my hair because I like to use pH balance stuff and most shampoo bars are not pH balanced. They have a high pH. So I'm probably gonna use this as a body soap even though I actually I think I actually did the competition or something or took the picture knowing it was gonna be a shampoo bar. Did I know? I don't remember if I knew. But I'm not getting a shampoo bar which I don't use and a comb which I don't use. So yeah. So I was thinking I might use it as a body soap, but we'll see, you know, usually, I don't know if my friend is subscribed to me, she probably isn't, so she deserves me saying this. Yeah, I have this one friend who, like, shops in my stash, so if she comes by and she sees it and, like, you know, I might just let her take it, so, yeah. But that was it. I thought I had a lot more weird things than I actually do. So on one end, I feel good, but then I feel bad because most of this stuff, I really shouldn't have bought it. The good news is that now I look at ingredients so nobody can make me buy weird stuff just because it sounds cool on the label anymore. So, yeah. But let me know if you have in your stash that might be a little different or you bought because you were curious about the properties or, you know, some new game-changing technology or, you know, ingredients or something like that. Hope you enjoyed seeing this other cross-section of my stash. Yes, I do have a lot of stuff. I'm hoping that by next year it'll be greatly reduced um, and I want on my plan is just basically to buy on Black Friday from now on or if somebody has a Black Friday like sale mid-year or something and I really need a couple things you know so getting my stash down <laughs> so that's it thank you again for watching please like comment and subscribe for more um, want to do some fun videos like this want to do some hair school stuff and some demos and product reviews and things like that so Stay tuned, lots of fun ahead, and see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.